Alright guys, welcome to another beer review. Um, today we've got a German craft beer. And I think I actually tried, not this beer specifically, but another one of the beers. It was one of the first craft beers that I did. Um, or at least uh, actually drank here in Germany. I'm not sure if I made a video of this one. In fact, I don't know if I've made any videos of the beers that I've tried from this brewery. I've tried a few now. And um, yeah, if I have, I'll put the links down below. So, um, yeah, today's beer is from Nittenauer, and this is the Mein Doldensverg, which is a Bayerish pale ale, clocking in at 6.3%, and, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's already open, so this is not the first take of the video. Uh, surprise, surprise. Uh, but, yeah, really nice, simple label. I like that layout. I like the typography. I like the use of hand-drawn illustrations, and uh, on the back, you've got the same design on the uh, front label of the front label, but a lot smaller. Then you've got a little bit of text, and there's the Nittenauer website. Uh, and the crown, which flew away when I took it off, is a Solar Beer crown. Uh, I'm not sure if Solar Beer is like the company who produces these bottle top bottle caps, or whether it's um, like type of beer like specific way of beers brewed because i have seen other breweries i'm sure i have used in that um bottle top don't know what's up with me today guys uh but yeah it's now our Irish pale ale fructig blumig und frisch so yeah sounds really nice and here's what the beer looks like in a glass of course i've had a little bit of it already uh i poured it with way too much head it was like about three fingers worth uh, but yeah, beer in a glass is a nice orangey, amber, hazy, honey sort of colour. A little bit of marmalade going on there as well. Got a nice golden glow at the bottom of the glass. And uh, yeah, very, very hazy. Really can't see through that at all. And the head itself, um, it actually dissipated quite quickly to be honest. Um, it's a nice off-white fluffy head, but it's just uh, you know the remnants of said head and uh yeah looks really nice um, i've pretty much say i don't think i've ever seen like a bad looking beer can you even get a bad looking beer i don't know um is that possible uh but yeah in terms of aroma i'm getting like um lemon cleaner like what you'd use to like um get rid of lime scale in pipes i'm getting like a sherbetty orange sort of sniff Maybe a slight bit of honey. Maybe a little bit of coriander as well. And it's got some floral qualities to it. Um, and yeah, it smells really nice. Um, and I don't mean uh, the lemon cleaner uh, in a negative way. Um, it's just that's what it reminds me of, as if you've like diluted it a little bit in water. But yeah, it smells good. Not too punchy, not too zesty. It's really quite subtle, but it's nice. So, let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. It's a tiny bit on the soapier side of pale ales and IPAs, which is something I've seen a lot, actually, with some of the... Uh, craft offerings here in Germany but you're getting like um, lemon juice maybe like a spiced orange peel sort of vibe going on there as well nice like um, multi backbone not too much though it is more on the uh, fruitier side although not like a sweet fruits it's sort of reminds me of like fermented fruits and a little bit on like the the sour end of the scale. But not to the point where it's like Ugh, on your tongue or anything like that. Uh, the only thing is, it's just a really... I don't know, it, it might be a little bit too subtle for my tastes. Um, this isn't really ice cold or anything like that. Um, I had it in the fridge for like 10 minutes after I bought it. But I wanted to get a beer review done. Because I have the house to myself until this evening. So I'm having a me day. So I bought a couple more beers. 
But um, the injured parallel from Shun Rama and the star of the show, because I've had this one before. I've had that one before and I thought that was really nice. That reminded me of um, Brewdog's Punk IPA. And one that I've really, really enjoyed when I first tried it is the Muslim Friends, uh, Stefan's Indian Ale. Yeah, I love my IPAs and pale ales. I always will. Um, I'm always open to trying new styles and uh, different styles in general, even if I'm not a big fan of that style. I'll give every beer a try if I possibly can. But IPAs, if I just want to enjoy a beer, nine times out of ten, it'll be either an IPA or a lager or something like that. Um, different beers for me, I have in different occasions. Sometimes I have beers specifically to go with a meal, that sort of thing. Um, and sometimes I just, if a beer style intrigues me, if it's a hybrid or if it's something I've never seen before, I'll go for that as well. I really don't, you know, uh, discriminate when it comes to beers. I mean, don't get me wrong, there are beers where I'm not going to pay 10 quid for a 330 ml bottle of an imported American beer. You know, I'm not going to pay, like, rogue beer prices because from what I've seen, they're, like, special, like, donut and sriracha. And not sriracha, um, the Japanese chili sauce. Oh, it's got the chicken on the uh, the bottle. Yeah, they, they're a bit too gimmicky, and for the price, from what I've seen, they're not worth, you know, investing that much. And especially for me, because I'm still not even at amateur level when it comes to beer reviewing or, you know in terms of craft beer or real ale or anything like that. I just like to try them. and I've only been doing this for a couple of years. Um, so I like to go for, if I can, cheap ones. And this is one of the cheaper beers that I've found. It's about €1.90, I think. I can't really remember. Um, but I'm not going to complain. Uh, it just could be a little bit more, I don't know, a little bit more going on for my tastes. But if you to have this a lot colder than I'm drinking on a spring or summer day, you could happily down three of these really quickly, uh, really sessionable. Um, but yeah, I don't know, it's it's unfortunately a tiny bit on the soapy sort of side. And that bitterness almost takes over um, everything else. Um, it's like too bit like flowery. You know what I mean when it like, uh, how do I describe this? Like, when people use, like, rose petals or, like, rose water or shit like that, it's like, I don't know, well, what's that? That's nasty stuff. You know, old women wear rose, you know, perfume. It's a bit too, like, on the perfumey, um, flowery sort of side. Floral, that's the proper word. Um, but, yeah, not a bad beer. Don't, don't misconstrue me as me bashing on this beer. It's just, for my tastes, it could just be a little bit more. But I know that the brewery themselves offer a whole range of different variations on the pale ale and IPA styles. So, some beers I'll enjoy more than others. Uh, some, I'm going to happily enjoy this one. And I'm glad that I've got it reviewed. And will I buy more Nittenauer Brew beers in the future? Yeah, I would. I'd probably even buy this again uh, under the right circumstances. If I had like a couple of, couple of euros in my pocket... Wanted a couple of beers in summer just to chill with. Jobs are good. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, not a bad score by any stretch. It just could be a little bit more for my tastes. But give it a try uh, if you want to try some German craft beer. And especially if you're in Germany itself. Um, and probably mainly in Bavaria. You'll probably be able to find this beer at the same price that I found. And for that price for young German craft beer... You know, I'm not going to say no. So, it's a 7 out of 10 from me. So, like I said, if I have actually done any other Nittenauer reviews, I'll put them down below. I'll put the Nittenauer website. And uh, if anyone else here on YouTube has done an English language review of this beer, that'll be in the description as well. Uh, check out my Pale Ale playlist and subscribe to the channel for more beer reviews. And check me out on Instagram if you're into that sort of thing. And no, there aren't any photos of my penis. So, on that bombshell... Thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you in the next beer review. Cheers. So unnecessarily vulgar.